Yes. Your thoughts on Darnell Nurse getting a, a one-game suspension? Yeah, the uh, league handed it down, or Department of Player Safety, and you know uh, we accept it and be ready for game number six. I mean, do you think it was justified, or do you think it uh, could have? What I it? think is immaterial. Um, the bottom line is that uh, Darnell's not an available player for us. We accept the decision and move on. What is the impact of that? What's that going to have on you guys? This is your biggest game of well, year. Well, he's, uh, he's a pretty good hockey player that's been taken out of our lineup. Um, but, um, you know, we've we've had him out of our lineup before and been able to handle it, and that's what we expect to do tomorrow. Now he's uh, a veteran, a team leader, and head-butted somebody in the, in the chops. Um, now he's gone. Is that disappointing to see in, in one of your leaders? No, I'm not disappointed in Darnell. Darnell plays the game hard. I, I don't think uh, there was any intention there at all. Um, it just kind of happened in, in the uh, the way the game was being played. And, you know, we, as I said earlier, we accept the decision and we'll move on. You've had Broberg up before. Uh, is, are we going to see him uh, tomorrow for the morning skate? Uh, yeah, he should be flown in uh, tonight um, from there up in Stockton. So, um, yeah, he'll, he'll fly in as insurance for us. And, um, you know, uh, that's one of the moves we made in response to Darnell um, being uh, suspended for tomorrow night's game. A couple other teams uh, today went 11 and 7. Not at all. You had some success with it. In the minors, and is that a possibility tomorrow? We'll see. I think we, you know, towards the end of the year when Darnell was out with his injury, uh, we went 12 and six. We're comfortable with that. And uh, Chris Russell, we know what we're getting in him. And um, you know, we have a lot of available good players uh, at our disposal. So we're going to ice the lineup that we think gives us the best chance tomorrow night. What did you think of Kulak and Cece when they played together in those final? I thought they were good. Yeah, I thought uh, specifically uh, down the stretch, uh, we played a big game in, in Pittsburgh that I thought both of them were excellent. Um, we'll see how it plays out tomorrow, but uh, you know, we, uh, we know that we're going to need people to step up in Darnell's absence. It's not just going to be one person, um, but yeah, we're excited about it. This From team laid a, a pretty strong foundation of structure that served it well down the stretch. Are mm -hmm. you... Are you getting away from that in the last little bit? Or are they pushing you away from that in the last little bit? Well, we lost the last two games, uh, so we're not happy about that. Um, I think um, you're in a playoff series, things happen. We lost an overtime game by one goal last night. Um, that said, we scored four goals. That should be enough to win a game. There's some things that we can do better defensively for sure. Jay, from the highs of the comeback in the third period to the low of losing early in overtime, how much will tomorrow's result come between the ears? Because you can have strategies, game yeah. plans, but you also have to have the ability to let that go. Tony, if you've heard me talk in any way in the last three months, you've said that, or you've, you'd have heard me say, uh, every day is his own day, and we want to take care of the day's business. And in the playoff um, hunt here, uh, you know, the message has been that we want to return to baseline. Whether you win a game, whether you don't win a game, it's about returning to that baseline and being the best you can be and continue to improve each day. And that's, that's where our mindset is. Good, thanks.